singing karaoke band. Put down the Netflix, the book, and the broom. Have a virtual holiday. Life is really weird right now. It's really, 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 really weird right now. So it's a quarantine cat. Welcome, welcome. How's everybody doing tonight? Um, I am very excited because we figured out how to stream to Instagram, but it's currently not working. So I'm going okay. to uh, I'm gonna try to edit that. But tonight we have some amazing guests with us. We have Michael Kilgore and Brendan Lark, who we're gonna bring in in just a moment. But while I'm figuring out how to stream to Instagram, Marty, you wanna kick us off with an awesome song? I would love to. Are we streaming on Facebook yet? We are. We're streaming on Facebook on both my page and yours. And we are streaming on both my YouTube channel and yours as well. Okie dokie. Mm -hmm. Then I will uh, sing us a song. I decided um, 7 o'clock is always such a fun time of day, especially right now. Mm -hmm. uh, I live in Midtown Manhattan. And at 7 o'clock, everybody goes out on their balconies and their leans out their windows. And they cheer and they bang pots and shake tambourines and play instruments. Just anything that they can do to say thank you to the medical workers, to the firefighters, to the police officers, everyone working out there on the front lines and in essential jobs, keeping society going. Uh, so it made me think of this this Celine tune to sing for you. Ooh, 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 ooh. I get wings to fly. Oh, oh, I'm alive. When you call on me, when I hear you breathe, well, I get wings to fly. I feel that I'm alive. Yeah. When you look at me, well, I can't touch the sky. I'm glad that I'm alive. Hey, oh, alive when you lose the day. I just drift away. Well, all my worries die. I'm glad that I'm alive. Set my heart on fire. You filled me with love. You made me a woman on clouds above. I couldn't get much higher. My spirit takes the light. Cause I'm alive. Oh, when you call on me. When I hear you breathe, I to oh, oh. I'm alive. Oh, I am alive. When you reach for me, oh, oh, God knows that that I'll be the one standing by. Through good and through trying times But it's only begun I can't wait for the rest of my life When you call on me When you 
reach for me. I'm alive. Ooh, you bless, you bless the day. Well, I just drift away. I know that I'm alive. Oh, well, I get wings to fly. I know that I'm alive. I'm alive. Woo! <laughs> yes. Thanks, Rachel. Oh, Marty, that was wonderful. Thank you. We have an exciting show tonight. It's a really we fun do. one. We really do. Um, and I am live on Instagram right now. So hi, everyone on Instagram. Um, you're probably seeing not our faces. Actually, I'm going to check in and see what people are seeing right now. Um, it's OK. Uh, yeah. They're just seeing the inside. Um, so if we sit here. Oh, not our faces, oh, okay. actually. Oh, OK. Technology, man. It's hard. We think we got it figured out, but <laughs> still don't. Still don't have it completely figured out. Rachel, um, if you scoot so, a little to your left, I think they can see us on Instagram. All right. Well, hi, everyone. I'm going to go ahead and go. Uh, all right. So like this? The other way. That way. Hey, guys. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so if you put up your hand and I put up my oh. hand. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, it's oh, hard God. to do the directions. Great. Great. Hi. There hi. it is. Wow. All right. Well, I'm going to say a song. Um, I don't think we can see your Instagram comments uh, on our feed. Um, so people that are watching on Instagram, feel free to pop over to YouTube. The link is in my bio. You'll get a better experience. You'll see the full screen. Right now you're seeing basically the middle of our screen rather than the full one. So um, in the meantime, I was going to sing a tune. Um, I did I did Chandelier. You remember when I did Chandelier, Marty? Oh, with, uh, I love that play? video with voice play. Yes. Yes, I did too. And I thought it would be fun do that tune for everybody because I actually have the version with voice play singing as the track. That's amazing. Yeah. So let's see. Have you I ever remember. performed this live before? I think at Devo. Hmm. Yeah. Memory. Yeah. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna swing from the chandelier. From the chandelier. Party girls don't get hurt, can't feel anything when will I learn? I push it down, push it down. I'm the one for a good time, call phones blowing up, ringing my doorbell. I feel the love, I feel the love. Oh, oh, oh. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. I'm 
just holding on for tonight. Just holding on for tonight. Just holding on for tonight. On for tonight. Oh boy. Uh, you're muted. Hello. You're back. Oh, oh no. I can't hear you. No? Oh, how oh. about now? Technology. Rachel, okay. I'm trying to let people know over at Instagram. Can you pin a message letting them to know, letting no. them know to come over? No, I can't. I Because I can't get into the Instagram as myself since it's being broadcast from another place. So I can't do oh. anything. Oh, it won't let me pin a, pin a comment. No, so I just keep saying this. Yeah, so it's fine. We'll just keep letting everybody know. Um, but in, in the meantime, while we're trying to figure out Instagram, hey, Instagram, hey, Instagram. Hey, Instagram. Hey, Instagram. Um, we're going to bring in our guests. I'm so excited about this. Um, this is a soulful week. And you know what? I have I, I have been so happy just chatting with these two before we even brought them on because they're both very spiritual and they're bringing a lot of positivity to this room tonight. And um, I'm just, I can't wait to see what happens tonight. I'm just so thankful that they're both here. Um, this is Broadway's Michael Kilgore. Hello, Michael. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Michael. Hi. And Broadway's Brennan Lark. Woo! Hi. Hello, Hello, friends. Hi. Oh, I'm Hi. so excited to listen to you guys tonight. Oh, God. So excited you to be here. So nice. Be here Both virtually. You sound so good. Thank you. Ah, thanks, Michael. Thanks. It's, I feel like I don't know how to sing anymore a little it's, bit. It's I've, so rude. No, no, no. You ain't lost oh, it. I can't even you have hear not lost Michael. Step. Oh, you can't hear Michael, Brennan? No. Oh no. You can't hear uh -oh. me? I'm back now. I'm using my full chest. Brennan, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you loud and Try clear. unplugging yeah. your headphones and plugging them back in. Okay. See if that Let's helps at all. That. All right, so now you guys, you can't see us unless we go to this little corner down here. Michael? Hello? So, yeah, I, you hear guys, I hear him now. Brennan, you now. gotta go to your corner. Marty, go to your <laughs> corner. Hey guys. I keep. I keep posting into Instagram. If you are watching Instagram. on Instagram, and I'm in your corner right now, Michael and I are. If you're watching from Instagram, you will have a bit better of an experience over at YouTube Live. Yeah, I keep posting the link in the comments. We'll, we'll so you come can follow check, that link. We'll come check in with you in the corners every so often. <laughs> All right. I feel um, like Patty. <laughs> so, Marty, would you like to do a proper intro of our Michael Kilgore and just tell the people why uh, <laughs> why he's being written up in the in all the publications lately. In, in all the publications. <laughs> I will. I'm, I mean, I love talking about Michael Kilgore. I, I think anybody who's um, been to a Marty Thomas show in the last year has heard an earful about Michael Kilgore because I can't stop talking about him. Uh, I first discovered Michael Kilgore at a Billy Porter concert at Joe's Pub uh, many years ago when Billy is one of those talents who rarely puts his stamp and puts his uh, his note of approval on another artist and singer. And he found uh, Michael Kilgore and introduced him on uh, a world stage, as it were, at Joe's Pub and gave Michael an opportunity to sing. And that room was blown away, including me. Uh, just write that name down and remember it. Recently, um, I'm going to go back work backwards. Recently, uh, his album, A Man Born Black, has been exploding on the charts. He was nominated for an NAAC P Image Award, which is phenomenal. Wow. Uh, just what what an uh, um, amazing accolade. Um, and he got to go to the award show and they asked him to perform and walk the red carpet. Uh, through that album, he's been on tour with Indy RE, one of my all-time favorite singers and writers. Uh, you saw him on NBC Live several times, most notably The Wiz. Um, yeah, most notably The Wiz. Uh, you've seen him on uh, his many, many, many videos with Postmodern Jukebox. Uh, his My Heart Will Go On arrangement is iconic. If you haven't seen that, um, you ain't living, Hanny. Uh, you saw him at uh, in Songs for New World with Shoshana Bean and an all-star cast. Uh, you can hear that cast recording on iTunes and Spotify. Uh, you can find him on Instagram at Michael Kilgore, on Twitter at Michael Kilgore, michaelkilgore.com. You also saw him on Broadway in Motown. There's so many other things that this man has done, but um, he is a uh, he's a bright light. He's a performer. He's a, um, a minister of goodness and positivity. He's a, a songwriter. He's an actor. He's an activist, honey. Um, I am a big fan of this dude. Guys, we are honored to have Michael Kilgore tonight. 
Hello, Michael. This, again. <laughs> that kind of introduction is just, it's too much. I'm like grinning ear to ear. My cheeks hurt. Um, thank you. It's it's a it, it's so incredible. Thank you so much. I I am so honored and so happy to be in the mix with these other three amazing artists who are doing such incredible things and have touched so many people. Um, it's it's crazy. It feels so good. So thank you for having me. Oh, oh thank you for being here. Well, will you sing for us? A song? Well, you know what? I sh I probably should. Yes. <laughs> That's an okay. intro, and it better be good, too. It All right, really I, good. I have faith. I have strong faith. All right, but everybody, gonna, here's Michael Kilgore. I'm going to sing something from my album entitled A Man Born Black. This is my debut single entitled Let Me Go. After all of this time Can't get you off my mind Though I tried, mm, yeah, I tried. And what hurts me the most is I can't give up the ghost for pride. I, Foolish pride. Oh, now can't you see? You've got your fingerprints all over me. So just let me go. Cause I can't let go till you let me go. Maybe what I should say is I miss you today. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. That's just how I feel. Mm -hmm. And when you keep in touch, Oh, I love it, I love it so much. My heart doesn't have time to heal. Oh, what can I say? I can't move on with you here in my way. So just let me go. Cause I can't let go till you let me go. Set me free, why don't you babe? Let me be, why don't you babe? Don't keep me hanging on. so hard to do, but I think it's about time that I get over you, so let me go, cause I can't let go, till you let me go, oh, oh, oh. now I understand, all of this time, I've been deep in quicksand, So just let me go. Ooh, oh, just let me go. Cause I can't let go till you let me go. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh my God. Holy moly. Ooh. I am not well. <laughs> I think, did, did you break the Instagram? Did, break did you hear that? Jesus. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my God. I miss singing that song. Oh my I, God. I am so, so excited great. for 
all of this to to get well so we can get back on the stage and get back in front of the people and mm-hmm. and yes. touch the people and and enjoy the people. I'm I'm so looking forward to it. I'm excited for it. It's so wonderful. Absolutely. Uh, Michael, did you write that song? I did. I wrote it myself. Um actually um I had a co-writer who was spectacular. Um he he's also written so many other songs. We worked together doing um doing a um a song for his album um and uh i i just got really lucky that we we were able to um to do to do something you know as as a team um and uh my and my brain will not let me think of his name and he is it's going to i'm going to be so mad at myself for not remembering um but it's going to come to me it'll come to me um <laughs> But That's I, okay. Uh, you can tell us later. You'll think of it. Oh yeah, it, it'll come to me. Um, but uh, I, I got really, I got really, really blessed with that one. I, I wrote the rest of the album um, alone, and, and that was my only co-write. Wow. That have you been really Have you been able to find some time to write since we've been um, quarantined, or is that on your spirit and on your heart right now? Oh well, you know, um, when there's nothing else to do, you know, there's time to create for sure. Um, I have used this quarantine actually to um, remind myself that it's all right to stop. Hmm. Um, I am, Hmm. I'm I'm such a go, go, go. I have to be busy. I have to be working. I have to be writing. And um, I had a a very important conversation with my manager and he was like, don't think about what's coming next. Don't think about the next gig and how to make this work for you. Rest. Because when it's over, you will have to run. So I don't want you to get tired in this pause. And when it's time to run, you don't have any steam left. So so take this time and rest because when it's time to go, I need you to be able to go at full force. So, um, so I took that to heart and, and that's what this whole global pause has been big shouts out to um, core rhythm fitness and to Roderick Covington, who has put this mantra in my, in my mind, find peace in the pause. And that's what I've been trying to do. Yeah, that's, that's great, excellent man. advice. That's yeah. awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, how did you name your your album? Is there a song that's named after that, or was that something that you just felt was uh, important? Can you tell us about that? Well, "A Man Born Black" is a lyric in one of the songs um, called um, "Vaporizer," um, but I wanted the, to title it "A Man Born Black" because from a distance, that's what you can see. I'm a man. I'm black. If you want to know more, you have mm. to be inquisitive enough, open enough. Um, interested enough in me to come closer and to find out more. What do I like? What moves me? What am I interested in? What it, what um, excites me? Um, and I'm hoping um, that this album feels like an invitation to people. And I feel like I've been extraordinarily lucky that people are taking the invite and they're coming closer and they're getting to know me more by listening to the project. Pass me that vaporizer. <laughs> it's a jam. She's an instant classic. Vaporizer it's, is my jam. <laughs> it's my jam too. Um, if you haven't gotten a chance to hear Michael's album or any of his music yet, you can find him on Instagram at Michael Kilgore, but you can also go to iTunes and buy music, support artists. You can hear it on Spotify, but please go buy that album on iTunes, A Man Born Black by Michael Kilgore. Yes. Um, I couldn't have said it better. Can't wait. <laughs> Yes, Bye I can't that. wait. I'm gonna j- I'm gonna jam out to that all all day tomorrow. I think just geeking out over the fact that I get to be like virtually close to you. Oh, so. we're more than virtually close, my dear. <laughs> but um, <laughs> but I feel like vaporizer. That's that's for all the mommies and daddies out there who need an escape, like an island vacation. Put on mm-hmm. past that. This guy. <laughs> I'm that mama and daddy. Uh, oh. Rachel, on that note, you want to give a proper intro to our second guest. I sure do. So uh, Brennan Lark, I have known from afar because I was such a fan of her because she was Eponine in the Les Mis revival and, on Broadway. And um, she's just, she's stunning, first of all, to look at, but her voice is, is so stunning as well. Um, and it's really cool because she was kind of the uh, instigator, I guess, of this trend that happened worldwide of Eponine being cast as a person of color, which I think is really fabulous and um, such an inspirational thing to see and for that part to be opened up that way um, because of her incredible talent and for more people to 
be able to experience that role was just awesome. Um, aside from that, she played Dina on the West End in Dream Girls. And she was also on um, Mrs. Maisel. And what did I miss, Brennan? I missed something. You got, like, you're nailing it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. That, um, season three, we, I was part of a trio, which was really cool. But yeah, thank you, Rachel. Oh my gosh. You're so, you're so welcome. Oh you're so awesome. We're so happy to have you. Uh, Brennan thank Mark, you for everybody. Having me. Hi. Rachel and I were really honored to get to do a concert with Brennan uh, just right before the quarantine broke out. Uh, we did a concert, one of the the Broadway Sings series, a Broadway Sings Queen. Yes. And uh, we uh, we were standing in the back, Rachel and I together, when Brennan came to the stage. And uh, it was awesome to hear just a sea of people back by the bar in the back of the house go, oh, oh when she gosh. started singing. I mean, look who's talking. You walked on stage <laughs> and everybody was just, you know, they were drawn in with how beautiful you are. Oh. And then they heard you sing and went, wow, there's more. Oh, thank <laughs> it was you. cool. Yes. It's and so you know what? Sorry, don't mean to interrupt. I just want to brag on you one more time. But it's like, uh, I would I would love to hear you sing some like legit classical stuff because I know <laughs> you can like riff your face. But uh, I think you've got that too, if I'm not wrong. So. Don't tempt me. A little bit of everything, you know? Keep it I fresh. you got it all, girl. <laughs> Keep them guessing. Keep hold you. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Would so, you sing us a song, Brennan? Yeah, what are you going to sing for us? Yeah, it's funny because, you know, vanity is one thing, but it's it, during this this global pause as Michael said, I think we're kind of stripped of all the things that we identify with, and one of the main things is, you know, we can't get our hair done. We we quite literally, I mean, well, Marty, you 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 can do that because you have mm -hmm. all the accoutrement in your <laughs> in your um, apartment, but you can't get your nails done. I mean, literally, look at my nails, people. This is real. <laughs> this is real. <laughs> but, you know, I think what, it's just a reminder that it's all an inside job. And I don't mean to sound super utopian or, like, bohemian. But it's, you know, it's the one thing that money can't buy, which is just inner peace and feeling good about yourself from within. Because if you seek it externally, that's always a fleeting, it's a fleeting thing. So it's, I think we can use this time to really hone in on what makes us. I'm not going to give away the song. It'll speak for itself. But... Um, it's time to just get back to the root of what makes you, you, and, and to really understand that we all have a unique thumbprint and it's time to really kind of fall into that and, and own it. So I feel like this song is kind of a personification of that. And I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure some of you may know this song. So should I, should I hit it? Hit it. Hit Please it. Yeah. Sing, Brennan. Where are we? Oh, I'm having a technical difficulty. One second. Ah! Technology. Okay. Hopefully this works. And <laughs> Every day is so wonderful inside me. It gets so hard to breathe. See, now and then I get so insecure from all the pain. I'm so ashamed. I am beautiful no matter what they say. What is hampering me is enough. I am beautiful in every single way. What is hampering me is enough. No, no, no. So don't you bring me down today to all your friends you're so delirious you're so consumed in all you're doing oh you're trying so hard to fill that emptiness the peace is gone, 
You left the puzzle undone. It's not the way it is. You are beautiful no matter what they say. And what can bring you down? You are beautiful in every single way. Yes. What can bring you down? Oh, no. So don't you bring me down today. I say no matter what we do. No matter what we say, hey, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And everywhere we go, the sun will always, it will always shine. You are beautiful, no matter what they say, cause, yeah. You better. You better. Thank you. Oh, Marty, you have a new background. Oh, yeah. I was just um, during that wanting to remind people that they can find Michael's music. Yeah, it's my new background. (laughs) You can find uh, Michael's music on iTunes or on his website and all platforms, and you should support artists in times such as these. Yes. Uh, Speaking of, actually, I've got the ticker going on on the bottom of the screen here, guys. And... um, Everything that we do each week with Quarantine Cabaret, we're bringing you new guests, amazing Broadway talents, and we are splitting all of these tips that you send um, with these artists. Most all of us have lost all of our gigs um, for the foreseeable future, so anything that you feel comfortable donating, we just appreciate so much and we'll go to these amazing talents. So um, I would like to publicly thank Jack Sharkey, who has once again sent, it, sent an incredibly generous donation to these amazing artists and um we just love you so much jack thank you so much just noted we do this every week but just know that um tips and donations are not expected uh they are just appreciated if you're in a tough time now i know a lot of people are out of work um a lot of people aren't considered essential and Mm -hmm. are staying home as well so it is not expected in any way we're happy you're just here sharing your energy with us as well that's very we're grateful for that yes absolutely and my Middle school chorus teacher is here. Hi, Miss Miazga. Oh, really? Henry. What's her name, Rachel? Her name's, we call her Miss M. Joey Miazga is her M. name. Hi, Miss um, M. I sang my very first solo ever in front of my peers in her class. And what solo was that? Oh, so cute. I sang, you gotta be, you gotta be bad, hey. you gotta be bold, you gotta be wiser, yeah. you gotta be hard, you gotta be tough, you gotta be stronger. You One gotta be cool. Funny. So huh? I sang that song in Taste. my 54 Below debut. Wow. That was how I ended my concert with You Gotta Be. It's on YouTube. It it was oh, so Oh, I need to watch it. Mm-hmm. Um, you know what was so cool about that? was That was the first moment I ever realized I had something. Oh. And it was, uh, I was so nervous. And it I wasn't was, COVID-19. I was only, it was talent. It was no. talent. Back then it was talent. Now it might be COVID-19. But, um, I remember I remember that I was, and I'm only doing this solo thing, so Instagram isn't looking at corners. Um, so I remember closing my eyes the whole time. I was such a small little girl, like in middle school. I was still wearing kids' clothes when all my girlfriends like had boobs and were developed and looked like women. And I was like this little girl, still looked eight years old. And so I was so nervous to get up in front of my class and I closed my eyes and I, I, I kept my eyes closed the whole time because I was so scared. And then I opened my eyes and the room just erupted in applause. And I was like, 
oh my god oh like it wasn't i'm not crazy like maybe this is something that within. i could do so yeah I'll know. No, thank you, like Miss M. Thanks, Miss Aha, like Big said, shout Aha out moments. to every teacher who touched our lives in that way and just highlight the thing that let us know. I mean, we happen to be musicians, but the gift isn't the music. The music is how we translate this light that's inside us for other mm -hmm. people to receive. And thank goodness for all the people who saw the light and said, how do we get this light out of them? Right. Whatever we got to do to help them get the light out, we were going to help them get it out. So thank you to the Miss M's yes, out there. Thank you. I have family members and teachers who, who did it for me. And I'm sure everyone has a similar story. And um, in this period right now, I think it's more yeah. important than ever for you to harness that light and find a way to get the light out. Um, we mm -hmm. all want a little bit more brightness in the world and, um, I know it sounds super corny to say it that way, but I can't find another way to say it other than yeah. you know, just find a way to get the light out of you. Absolutely. And just yeah, I think that's the other reason for this global pause. You can really go to the crevices and the depths of who you are and not what you think you are, what other people mm -hmm. think you are. And this is an important, this can be a very valuable time if you allow it to be, I think. Yeah. Not you know, I've, been think from... I've been thinking a lot about um, how do you want to emerge and letting that be uh, something that drives me in this time, that do I want to emerge having just sat on my couch and watched Netflix and eaten a ton and like heavier than when I started and depressed, or do I want to emerge um, fit and happy and in like a good mental space and ready for something? Um, and that's, that's a really, I think it's easier said than done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I think that there's I think that there's no right or wrong to this as well. I think a lot of people are putting a lot of pressure on it too. Here, which here. is hazardous as well. It's just Definitely. I feel like my mantra is just I go where I can just seek the relief, like what feels good in that moment. There's really no guideline as to what to do, but feel it internally and and seek what feels good and what's joyful to you. If you have a day and you just listen to music, your favorite artist all day, that's okay. Yeah. Oh, yes. You just hit on the head. I, I tell students all the time, protect your joy. Yes. Your joy, you have to be vigilant about not just Passion. trying to find joy, but the joy you have, don't let it get taken away. Don't let no. it get stolen. Don't let it get misspent. Be really, really conscious about the ways in which we can hold on to our own joy. It's not like it's not about hoarding. It's about uh, no. keeping yourself alive and keeping yourself yeah. um uh, uh, ready for ready, when the moments yeah. come. You know, I want to have a, a I want to have a, a a full coffer of joy. So yes. when things come, it's not depleting me. I can still go. There's still so much joy in my life left. Not and um, you know, I I truly hope that this music helps. Yeah. That you get up and you see some on TV that makes you feel joyous. That you look out the window and see some joyous. That um, you know, even something as simple as just saying, "Yeah, I showered today." Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hey, the yeah. Movies. And there's right. real and also, you know, a lot of people feel helpless, but the thing is, joy is actually an act of service. When mm. you are joyful because that's contagious and that transfers. So, and you'd be surprised if you're living with joy, you're going to write your Facebook status a little differently than someone that's a little bit, you know, maybe in a more negative lower headspace. So, Come it on, is Pastor Brennan. <laughs> no, I'm just piggybacking off of what you said, so I just think you have to have a strong energetic contribution. Yeah. And that's and really what we why we did this. That's what this yeah. is all about, you know. It's amazing. And Speaking we're here sharing. Joy, we're, oh yeah, I'm sorry Michael, what'd you say? Speaking of joy, I just have to talk about the green that Rachel has on and this gold that you yes. have on. Sir. Joy. That's <laughs> you joy. guys put on your glad rags today. <laughs> I don't own Thank anything you. but glad rag. Um, speaking of, this is a really great dress, and I um, I rented it from Rent the Runway for a concert that was coming up that was canceled. Yes. So here it is. We're all <laughs> listen. It's joy. It makes you feel good, and here you are. Own it. 
Speaking of Thank joy you. and sharing it, um, I see people on uh, chiming into these live comments from all over the world. We'd love it if you'd write in and let us know where you are specifically. I see some pe- folks here from Brazil. I see some folks Suda in Bay. Germany, some folks in Nashville, some folks in Florida. I see some Kansas City folks. Uh, chime so in and cool. let us know where you're from while we keep this cabaret going. I'm going to cool. sing another song before I um, uh, before I reintroduce you to the glorious talents of Rachel Potter my best friend uh but this joy got me thinking about a song and this joy talk uh i had to pull this one in using every bit of technology in this apartment let me know if this music's too loud for you I'm no longer broken hearted So glad I came here tonight And I see you got what I wanted Baby, you got what I like I can see that you're watching me Come over, talk to me, need you to Oh, something piano come easily It's what I need tonight I came here for love, for someone to hold me down. I won't give it up. No, I want you to reach out. I came here for love. I came here for love. want you to reach out I'm so ready to get on it just follow me you'll be fine I'm in too deep have I fallen without anyone inside I can see that you're watching me come over talk to me need you to give me a sign you got that something sweet I don't come easily It's what I need tonight I came here for love For someone to hold me down I won't give it up I want you to reach out I came here for love oh. I came here for love I want you to reach out This is what we came here for We came here for love I won't give, I won't give it up This is what we came here for We came here for love I want you to reach out This is what we came here for We came here for love I won't give, I won't give it up This is what we came here for We came here for love I want you to reach out I came here for love Won't you hold me down? No, 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 no I want you to reach out I came here for love yeah, I came here for love. I want you to reach out. Woo! <clears throat> yes, Marte. That's what we came for. Yes. Yeah. Boy. You better holler. Song. Thanks, buddy. When that, when that tongue comes out, that's when you know <laughs> yeah. it's about to be. <laughs> it's real. <laughs> it's about to be real. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, boy. Ooh. Okay. That was great. Um, so Who can I we think- say hi to? Um, some people from Pennsylvania. Hey. Yes. Let me see here. Tuscaloosa. Tuscaloosa. Yes, wow. We got to out of Tuscaloosa now. Come on, Tuscaloosa. <laughs> From um, there's Paul in the UK. Um, Candace is coming Hi. to us all the way from Washington Hi. Heights. Hi, Hello. Candace. Melanie hey. in Orlando. Luke That's Sky. That's my aunt Mel. That's my aunt Melanie. Hi, Aunt Mel. Uh, uh-huh. Luke Sky in Argentina. Wow. That's awesome. Joseph Thank London you guys from Broadway. In. Chicago is here. You, Hi, Joseph. Everybody loves Joseph London. Everybody. Everybody loves Joseph. 
We got people from PA. Come on, Holly. How are you? Awesome. <laughs> Thanks, now, everybody, for tuning in. If any of you are joining us late and uh, you would like to contribute to the, the show tonight, if you'd like to find us on Venmo, um, all tips are going to be split among all the artists tonight. We'd be so appreciative, not expected, but if you're able, very much appreciated. Very and much. Uh, to say thanks, Rachel Potter, one of the greatest voices I know. Would you, oh, you would you sing us a song, my friend? Yes, I will. Thank you, guys. Um, I wanted to sing... Uh, I just love Casey Musgraves. She's a country artist for those of you who don't know. Um, yes. And I, I just moved away from Nashville doing country music to move back to New York just in time for a pandemic. So um, that, that's neither here nor there. Hey guys, we're all in this together. And I think actually I'm gonna sing that next week. I thought about that from a high school musical. So get excited. Um, but this is a wonderful song that she wrote called Rainbow and I just love it. And I think it's very encouraging and we could all use a little of that right now. So here's that. How's the track, Marty? Feed me, see more. Oh, Casey. I that love her so stunning. much. She's such a great songwriter. Wow. She is such a great songwriter. She's, she's a cool chick. So thank you. I love that song. Thanks for the rainbow, Marty. Oh. Wow. Yeah, thank you for that song. Can you hear? What? Am I muted? 
No, no I, I can hear you. you. Oh, okay, good. Never mind. That was beautiful, Rachel. Thank you. Everyone, mm -hmm. thank you all for sharing. Yeah, tonight's a blessing. Amazing. Hey, Rachel, yeah. what do you say? Um, are there any questions? Can we take some questions for Michael? Yeah, and if Brennan? you guys want to do a Q&A, that would be wonderful. I know we got one already. So um, someone said Michael and Brennan duet. And you know what? I would love that. But unfortunately. Oh, that. Technology has not caught up with us. Uh, no, well, that's a wonderful idea. Yeah, if you want to check out a great duet, uh, you can find my album on Spotify or iTunes. And there is a song with Michael Kilgore and I on this album that I'm so proud of. We did a mashup of Vanessa Williams' Save the Best for Last and Brian oh Adams' and Everything I Do, I Do It For You. And the voice on Michael Kilgore on this, it is so beautiful. Uh, Jamie Ray arranged and produced it. And I'd be honored if you'd take a little bit of this quarantine time to listen to some of my music. I'd appreciate it. Oh my goodness. The whole album is spectacular. That Thank duet you, Michael. is lovely. I just, it's like a taste of like my teenage years. Like that whole album just is the version I wish I had as a queer man growing up. Mm. Like to hear these love songs sung and to not have to worry about, you know, pronouns. Thanks buddy. <laughs> Thank you. That was the goal for it. Yeah, it's beautiful. And uh, it's a perfect time now during this quarantine for you to just tune into Spotify or find yes. this album on iTunes and uh, give it a listen. I think you'll find something you like. You, yes. you want to buy it just for Dream Lover alone. Dream Lover is a reason enough. Oh, hey, amen. yeah. Shout out to Jamie Ray, who's probably not watching. Our country western arrangement of Mariah Carey. Mm -hmm. yes. Ooh, good. Are you kidding me right now? It's good. That's it's so, so good. good. We did a country two-step arrangement of her dream lover. It's, it's fun. so cute. We uh way back in the day, Marty and I and our other best friend Jamie Ray had something that we called the country band like 10 years ago and we had this arrangement of Dream Lover and it's um and then we also did Dancing Queen Country. Oof. We also did, um, we did Don't Stop Believin'. We did, mm -hmm. um, we did several really cool covers where we'd take pop tunes and musical That's theater so tunes cool. and turn them on their ear and turn them into uh, country two steps. I love mm -hmm. that. I love um, that so dream lover. Why don't we do a little bit of uh, Q&A? There's a really sure. important question from your mom, Rachel, saying that you should move closer to the mic. Me? Yeah, your mom okay. really wants you closer to the mic. All right, Period. she's the mom. I'll figure that out for next time. But yes, uh, Q and A time. But here's one. Brennan and Michael, do you guys have any roles that you're dying to play at the moment? Oh, Brennan, you want to go first? I have, this question terrifies me all the time when people ask what my dream role is, and I always just say it's a role that hasn't been invented. Like I well, just want to do something completely new and fresh. That's just like feels like me. I feel the same way. I feel yeah. the same way. But there is a role I would love to do only because they've already conceived it in a weird way. I really want to be um, Jamie in um, Last. No, in oh. um, Company. Ooh. Oh, uh, yes. Just Absolutely. do some patter and. I and love be funny that. And silly. Yeah. Are you hearing I, that? Anyone out there? You put it out there. So. Oh, I, I put it out there. It's so I need you to. I need you to make it through. <laughs> the coronavirus company make it through it okay I love that. actually i kind of like when i'm a little bit older i'd like to play um do kiss me kate and play lily vanessi i've actually oh, that's always have interest. wanted to do that role so that's what comes to mind that sounds awesome okay here's another one um favorite bible story musical Ooh. Ch definitely children of e uh Jesus Ooh. Christ Superstar? I don't know. I I feel like I have to say Jesus Christ Superstar. I've done it four yeah. times and I love it every yeah, time. Yeah, you're the... Yeah. But maybe Children of Eden. Maybe Children the, of Eden. We have the same ones then. Yeah. Here's a little known musical that I love the cast recording for. Um, it was about Noah's Ark called Two by Two. It's so mm. funny and such good. It's bops. It's from the 70s, I believe. Oh. Seth Rudetsky introduced it to me years ago and I fell in love with it. Yeah. I just love children I'm with of you, Eden Michael. The scale. the scale of Children of Eden is so big. Yeah. And it can be done. I mean, I don't know if any theater has enough money to do it the way I would like to see it done. <laughs> yes. But it's you incredible. just need it to be you need it to just be a feature film. It's it's literally like Muni or Bust. Like it has to be the Muni. Oh yeah. It has to be like twenty thousand children. You know what I mean? So totally. Well, wait a minute. Brennan, weren't you in Prince of Egypt? Yeah, yeah. I did one of the early sort of like experimental versions of it, like two years ago. Now it's in the West oh, End, how, which is amazing. Oh, cool. Was that good? 
Was it? That was I mean, so fun. I think they were just, just, just trying to figure out what was going to work, what wasn't, what you know was going to get cut, and and so we were kind of like the, the guinea pigs in, in that sense. But it was, I mean, that music is just stunning. So it mm. was a really, I mean, it was such a joy to work with everyone on that team, and we felt like a, I don't know, it was like a collective like experiment. So it was really, it was really exciting to be a part of that. Yeah. Shout out to the West End production right now. West well, yeah. End. They're on, they're on yay, hold. Yay, like, West End. But, yee, um, all right. Aaron Harrington would like to know, what ways are you all finding to cope slash stay on top of your game in this time of quarantine? Like that question. Well, some people are creating their own, you know, web concert series um, that happen every week. So yeah. they're definitely keeping those skills together. Hint, hint, the two on the top. Yeah. Um, Hi, Instagram. <laughs> Hi, Instagram. <laughs> Gotta come to the corner. Um, uh, I, who, what am I doing to stay on top of my, of my game? Yeah, For tell me, us. It's, um, I'm, I'm doing stuff that I'm ter- that have, has terrified me before. And now I have no other choice but to do it. Like I'm writing things that I never thought I could write. Um, I'm like, I'm diving into the play of it all too. Like I'm doing stuff that I feel like maybe just trash, but it's just fun and I want to give it a try. So, you know, if I fail, then there's only me and my apartment to tell me it sucks. (laughs) You know what I mean? So I don't have to worry about the world um, crashing in and and making me feel less than. So um, I think it's, uh, so that's like business wise, but like personally, I'm coloring and coloring. Me books. too, yeah. Michael. I, please, can I just? <laughs> yeah. Ooh, I just dropped it. She wow. got excited. She got excited, y'all. But like, I'm coloring, and coloring books. I'm listening to music. Yes. I'm doing deep listening. If you haven't heard the uh, Mirella Preni, um, Luciano Pavarotti, La Boheme recording, Ooh. just sit and let it play from the top to the bottom. It's it's pitch perfect. So it's like things like that. I'm doing that. Yeah. Yeah. And I, Oh, look at I, that. Is that, is that, I'm looking at uh, your coloring book. Where, where'd it go? It was Lisa Frank. Let me oh, tell I live you. for Lisa Frank. Give we me a Lisa Frank Lisa trapper Frank. keeper. Okay, Mark. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, sorry. Let me get you up there. Lisa Ooh, Frank. come on, Lisa Frank. Yes. Lisa Frank is a friend, honey. Come She's been on. around for a the long school time. school supplies were always Lisa Frank. Marissa Rosen would be so happy right now. I feel like yeah. her career is based on Lisa Frank. <laughs> I love it. She has like yeah, a nice too. blend of Lisa Frank and Punky Brewster going on. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I think my love language and my, my quarantine uh, love has been organizing and cleaning. I'm driving Ooh. my boyfriend yeah. absolutely crazy. As I'm, you should. I'm a Virgo and I love <laughs> vacuuming. On, I get so much out of seeing how much is in the canister after I vacuum. So I do it all day. And <laughs> I've been going through every drawer and I've been scanning. Every, I keep everything. I've been scanning contracts today. I have contracts dating back to the late 80s that I was scanning in today and shredding. I have a shredder that brings me such joy. I feel like I've finally become the dad on Full House. (laughs) (laughs) That's awesome. (laughs) Yeah, I definitely think, yeah, it's been a lot of inner work. And I also think having a system has been so important because you can just get so bogged down with like the news. So I think this has been a testament to boundaries. So it's kind of like, yes, you need to hear what you need to hear and then we need to disconnect. And sometimes I'm not even on my phone. Like I will seriously go, like I will do a phone detoxification. I'll do a computer. De- like I just won't be by any, you know, um, hello? Something just happened. Oh, no, I think Marty's anyone whispering. Out there? You're good. Oh. We're here. We're still hearing um, you. Yeah. So I, I just, I, I've been using this time to really like implement my regimen and really be comfortable with me. And so, I mean, it's just the little things like baths are really great. And as Michael said, coloring has been really therapeutic and just kind of letting just each day, day by day, honestly, taking it day by day. Yeah. Um, I have found that uh, it's, it's hard with, cause I have a three-year-old and um, the schedule thing is all out of whack right now. Like his, his sleep schedule is so weird. So we finally were like, okay, enough is enough. We have to, make a schedule. So we made like a very detailed schedule that we're trying to start sticking to. It's difficult though. Like I feel like yeah. the days get away from you sometimes when you don't have anything they to do. They days do. Fly by. It's weird, but we're trying to create like a nice schedule so that Jude can experience somewhat 
of a like normalcy and to, to feel like he has something to count on. Um, and so we're including outside time, which I think is super important. If you can get outside, if you have like any sort of outdoor space, I found mm -hmm. like we went outside the couple of hours. Luckily, had this little outdoor space and it changed everything. Like changed my whole perspective of the day. Just to see a blue sky, and I was the inside of my apartment all day. Honestly, well, Marty, so much doing? respect to you for for having a child during this time, and anyone at home that's had you know has had to make their home turn into a classroom. So. So much respect to you for being able to get a handle. I can say on that it. I'm really That's doing amazing. a great. Thanks, but I don't. I don't know that I'm really doing a great job as a teacher. I'm giving him an iPad. No, uh, you you're doing trying to work on do. ABCs and one two threes. But oh, anyway. That's okay. So much respect to all so the teachers much. out there who are like, oh, y'all finally meet y'all children now. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah it's not shout out big shout happen. out to my boyfriend jeffrey for entertaining me every day it's like kinder care keeping me entertained Yay, we've, we've discovered um zarby's immune support plus sleep which is essentially over-the-counter roofies um that we take <laughs> oh. this real quick at about 1 a.m and i am out within 15 minutes without hope of being able to lift a muscle for another Ooh. 10 hours yeah, so if you really want to experience goodness, Zarbies, maybe they will um maybe they'll sponsor us. Zarbies and Hudson Hudson Whiskey. Wow. <laughs> the more you know. Oh my god. Well, um, let me do a quick shout out. We got a couple of Venmo tips. So thank you guys so much oh, for donating. You. Um Joseph London donated. Beautiful Joseph love London. Love. You sweetheart. What a sweetheart. Um, I got somebody else, but now I can't find them, so I'll tell you in a minute. But um, you know what? We had somebody say they really want to hear Michael sing, and I Me think it's time that we have another song. But Michael, <laughs> would you bless us again, and then we'll have Brennan sing again, and then we'll do a little bit more. Um, we'll do a little bit more Q and A after that. So anybody, if you've got questions, please drop them in the chat box. And right now, we're gonna hear from Michael. If I can, oh boy. Sorry, technical difficulties. It's all good. Well, I'm gonna do some a little bit of theater, a song from a show I okay. really love, and I hope that you guys love it as well. The show Godspell, I love it so very much. And I think this song is just perfect for what's going on right now. Out of the ruins and rubble. Out of the smoke, out of our night of struggle, can we see a ray of hope? Oh, health and gray reaching for the day we can build a beautiful city yes we can yes we can we can build a beautiful city not a city of angels but we can build a city of men. Mm -hmm. We may not reach the ending, but we can start slowly but truly mending. Brick by brick, heart by heart. Now, maybe now, we start learning how we can build a beautiful city. Yes, we can. Yes, we can, we can build yeah. a beautiful city, not a city of angels, but we can build a city of men. Mm -hmm. 
When your trust is all but shattered When your faith is all but killed You can give up bitter and battered Or you can slowly start to build a beautiful city yes we can yes we can we can build a beautiful city not a city of angels but finally Oh, city of men, ah, a city of men, we, we can live, you and I, you and I, a city of men, 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 men. A city. Oh wow! Michael, Michael, Michael! Oh my goodness! I mean, just, that is just healing. Just terrible. <laughs> no, you're not talented at all. It's embarrassing. Yeah. Um, just god awful. Uh, god awful. Oh. Michael, yeah. I, I've never wanted to hug someone more than I want to Truly. hug someone right now. And I, I can't. Oh. And Tom said, yay, when you finally started. <laughs> <laughs> that was gorgeous, Michael. Yes. Gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. There's so many kind comments. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're just so special. My goodness. Yeah. Brennan, uh, speaking of special, would you would you sing us one more song, my dear? Yes, I would love to. So this song is going to be from um, Anastasia, Journey to the Past. Um, and I, it's funny because I feel like a lot of people have been talking about nostalgia during this quarantine. And it, it kind of made me feel nostalgic, this song, because growing up, like, you couldn't tell me that she wasn't a Disney princess. I very much thought she was a Disney princess. She's not. She's more like the DreamWorks side. So this is a Anastasia, Journey to the Past. And I feel like it's about moving past fear. And we have choices in this life. And even the scarier route, it might be the harder route, but it is the most insightful and poignant one. So this is Journey to the Past. Let's see. Seamless transition here. Heart don't fail me now, courage don't desert me, don't turn back now that we're here. People always say life is full of choices. No one ever mentions fear or how a world can seem so vast on a journey to the past. Somewhere down this road, I know someone's waiting. Years of dreams just can't be wrong. Arms will open wide. I'll be safe and wanted. Finally home where I belong. Yes, starting now, I'm learning fast on a journey to the past. Home, love, 
family there was once a time i must have had them too oh, love family i will never be complete until i find you one step at a time one hope and another who knows where this road may go back to who i was on to find my future things my heart still needs to know yes let this be a sign let this road be mine let it lead me to my past and bring me home and I don't know what happened to the music. Girl! <laughs> yes! I don't know. <laughs> Honey. That was so awesome. I didn't even know the music stopped. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> I was like, where are my background singers? I don't know. <laughs> where are my background great. singers? <laughs> oh my gosh, that was so awesome. Why Holy your cow, your voice so is beautiful. literally like mayonnaise. It's not even butter, it's mayonnaise. Oh, it's so silky and beautiful. What kind of mayonnaise? Let's be careful. Thanks. Ooh, that <laughs> olive oil man mayonnaise. It's that good Dukes. It's got to be that good. <laughs> yeah, it's got to oh be Dukes. God. Thank you, guys. It's got to be Dukes. Brennan, can you just sing something like Aria really quick just so yeah. I can like enjoy um, it? Glitter and green. And how does oh. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. This awesome even knows that's, right. that's my theme song. <laughs> oh my god, I'm be gay. I'm sure awesome. you know the monologue too. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, just a reminder, everybody, if you'd like to throw a tip our way, we are accepting them. We're splitting them between all the artists. So we got uh, we got one actually on PayPal. I wanted to shout this guy out real quick. Um, but if you would like to donate, we're splitting them up between all the artists. We got one from, oh, boy. I'm really nailing it. David Worrell. Thank you. Thank you, David. Thank you. Thank you, David. That's so kind of you. Um, you know, this is so nice. Pat Townsend, thank you so much. Um, just uh, Jennifer Myers, thank you, Jennifer. You guys are thank you, Jennifer. So, so Jennifer, generous. Sweet Jennifer and Little Rock. Thank thank you, Jennifer. I know We're everyone is is going through it right now. So for you guys to share with us that way is is very generous, and it it really means the world. And I'm I'm just happy Marty and I are able to create a little outlet for all of our friends who are. Kind yeah. of out of work right now. So. Rachel, are there any other uh, last minute questions we can uh, throw at Michael and Brennan? Yeah, let's do that. Let me walk through these. <laughs> thank you to anyone that's watching too. Thank, thank you, you so thank much. you, thank you. Yeah, yeah. All of you. Jennifer Myers asks, what is the thing you most look forward to doing, seeing, eating, whatever, once the quarantine is safely over? Hugs. Oh, that's so sweet. I can't wait for hugs. Oh, hugs are gonna be that's good. so pure. You're so yep. pure. Oh, I'm Love not that. so pure. That's just what I want to be agree. first. <laughs> that's just where he wants to start. Touche, touche. <laughs> oh, that's, I, yes. First. Brennan, anything it's a that you're looking for? Um, yeah, I mean, definitely human connection again, because I have no social skills anymore. I don't really know how to speak to anyone but myself or the lamp at this point. Um, so definitely interacting with friends again, and all those social activities. I miss going to musicals. Yeah. I miss so much Aww, going to the yeah. theater. I miss, I live in Midtown, so I... I, I have such a blessed experience of being able to say at 6 or 7 p.m., hey, babe, you want to go see a show? And we can literally walk a few blocks and just see whatever has tickets and go see yeah. a show or go see a movie or go get entertained outside of my little cubicle apartment. Um, I miss that so much. 
I just mm-hmm. hope we keep that that perspective when this is all up. Like we remember this and we we honor the things that we took for granted when we come out of this. Yeah. Absolutely. I think what's really cool is that I think we were experiencing so much division in this country and I'm yeah. hopeful this is something that's going to make us all realize that we're all just human and we're all literally experiencing it together. We're Truly. all in this together from sea to shining sea and then around the globe, you know? Truly. So I I hope that there's some re- revelation in that yeah. for um, the people that are hateful towards others, you know? Yeah, mm-hmm. I hope so. And I think Absolutely. sometimes worse than hate is indifference towards one another. So I hope that we let go of that level of indifference to one another and we um, have feelings, we care, we, mm-hmm. we pay attention, we don't pass people and treat them like they're not there. Let's, you know, right. I think it'll be a wonderful time after this is over to start looking people in their face yeah. and saying, I, I see you, I treasure you, I respect you, I honor your humanity. Yeah. So. I'm looking forward to that. And my fingers are crossed. America has a horrible track record, but <laughs> track records can change. So Yeah, hopefully there I'm is hopeful. just a little bit more empathy, empathy yes. across the board. Mm-hmm. You know what I've really enjoyed seeing is uh, the Pureness in my three-year-old. Uh, the oh, other day yeah. we, we sat in the window here in the apartment or up on the third floor and he just waved and shouted to everyone that oh. walked by and said hi. Oh, and I love that. It was That's so really cute, sweet. so sweet, and he was so excited to like have some connection with other people other than me and my husband. But I loved this joy that I saw in the people's faces walking by because they're all they're all feeling it too. You know? So to just have a little bit of an interaction with a little kid just doesn't even realize the gravity of what's going on and is just yeah. happy to see them is like really cool. So. It's a beautiful thing. Simplicity mm-hmm. goes a long way, and I think we're all slowly. Yeah but surely starting to realize that, especially in a time like this, so. I saw a meme that was like, this is the closest that we're ever gonna get to what it was like growing up in the 90s again, where, oh, you know, there's, yes. where like, everybody's just kind of, it's slow, Every, everything's yeah. slower. And, you know, we're just staying home, we're playing video games, we're eating most all our meals at home, we're cooking, yeah. um, you know, we're watching TV, we're spending time with our families. For those of you that, you know, have a bunch of kids where we're it's talking on the constantly phone going, going, going. Texting. Yeah. Right. We're talking on the phone. We're like seeking that connection again with people. Absolutely. And, and uh, I know for people, me, what, what I, I'm most looking so. forward to, I think, is working again. Like, yeah. even if it's like, like leasing apartments or whatever, it is just yeah. um, feeling like I'm doing something every day is, is, uh, I miss that, I guess, like yeah. being productive in like a tangible way or something. Hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, I see Leighton B as asking, uh, Rachel, if Rachel has any music coming out anytime oh. soon. And, uh, on that note, Rachel and I released a single this week, just a few days ago, we did a mashup of from waitress lover. We did a video it was released you can find that on uh rich on youtube and the song is on spotify itunes everywhere look up lover you matter to me i'm having trouble connecting to the oh YouTube come website. on echo take a look at the <laughs> help section in your alexa actually uh marty we were gonna do a quick little a little showing of that oh yeah can you share a little bit of that video that we filmed we filmed it right yeah. before the quarantine broke out and we've been editing it for a few weeks and we're just able yeah. to release it how perfect yeah so- Oh, I have to pull out your speaker. Pull out your speaker. Winning always has been blue. All well that ends well to end up winning. You swear to be over traumatic and true tonight. Mother, and you will say all your dirtiest jokes for me. I'm at every table. Mm. I'll save you a seat. Come on, Tom. All right, that's enough of that. I have a question. I have a question. Yes. Yeah. 
Yeah. How did you two meet each other? What is your story? I have no idea. Who was good? Uh, Rachel and I met, I was at Stonewall downsta- downtown, uh, where the gay riots broke out yes. in, um, in the day on Judy Garland's, uh, funeral date. And, um, <clears throat> Rachel was entering a competition. She had just moved to the city from Florida. She was entering a competition that Brandon Cottrell hosted called Stonewall Sensation. And I got to judge it that particular night. And she came up on stage and, uh, started singing. He's going to was- say lies. Just get ready. No, I'm not. She <laughs> was singing with two beer bottles in her hand. That's a lie. See, there's the first lie. <laughs> <laughs> I remember really? what I remember. And she had those beer bottles in her hand so she could have the lyrics written on the back of that oh, beer bottle like a cheat. And yeah. um, she sang Part of Your World from Little Mermaid. And that. <laughs> that's so true. And uh, she was done singing. Wait, I know the words of Part of Your World. I would have written them on the beer bottle. That's what I said. I was like, on your bio, you literally played Ariel in The Little Mermaid at Disney World. So I told her, I was like, listen, um, I am am determined that as of this moment, you and I are best friends and we are in this together. And I, uh, you're wearing all three of my favorite colors, glitter, pretty and skinny. (gasps) And uh, you and I are in this together. And we have been pretty tight ever since. Match made in heaven, some would say. Yes. Yeah, almost 10 years ago. The story that wow. is true is that I was singing. See, things it's just all, align sometimes. Yeah. I, I was singing It's All Coming Back to Me Now, and I didn't know the lyrics to that. Because I did <laughs> play The Little Mermaid for five years at Disney World, so if I didn't know The Little Mermaid lyrics, come on. Come on. Um, and I did Celine. write them. It was one beer bottle, and I wrote them on a napkin, and I held the beer bottle. <laughs> <laughs> I love that that's better. It is better <laughs> than not knowing the words to part of your world. <laughs> that would be embarrassing. Anna <laughs> Harrington says, I introduced y'all. What is this story? So perhaps it's all a lie. I'm not sure. Maybe it is. It's Anna like, Harrington, um, maybe we can I get her to that. come on this show and sing a song for us. One of the most blessed vocalists. You guys and are she, up on she doesn't sing anymore. That would be awesome. Um, James asks, can he make an appearance on the live stream sometime? I don't know who he was talking about, though. He's talking about your son. Oh, my son. Yes, he, he would. He's sleeping right now, though. But... Um, Yes, and thank you guys for letting us, uh, for humoring us and letting us play our little song. Um, were there any more songs? There were. There was another. Of uh, Brennan. <laughs> you okay, Brennan? Brennan is drunk. Well, I, <laughs> I honestly, the connection's really bad for me, so I'm not really able to hear what you guys are saying. Oh, sorry, um, Brennan. This is but a question. In and out. Can you hear this? Yeah. You know I mean? Okay, this is a question for you. What advice do you have for people watching who would love to get into Broadway? Ooh. I always I always say to anyone, I always ask, why are you doing this? Like why do you do what you do? If it's just for notoriety or fame or money, I don't know if that's a strong enough motivation. I think it has to come from within and I think there has to be an overall um you know, a meaning for, for why you're doing what you're doing. There should be depth behind it, you know what is the the highest good for everyone involved in what you're doing? Are you, you know, how are you sharing? I think that's a good way to start because then, because you can't really teach passion. Yeah, same into that. Um, and very good that's point. That's my advice. Very good point. We don't do it for the money. Like, hello. Right. Hello. Because all of that stuff, success and opportunities, are they're, they can evaporate. So you have to have that mm-hmm. internal knowingness of this is when I feel the most me and this is how I express myself in the most authentic form. And I think the rest will just, hello, is that sassy? Yep. Both of my dogs are going crazy. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> this is sassy, everyone. It's his birthday in a few days and he's got a lot to say. See, he knows how to be authentic. <laughs> His um, authentic self. Hey, can I just say, um, we just got a very generous donation from Jeremy Heinrich, who is our dear friend, oh, who's on the front you. lines working for, um, works in the healthcare industry. He's on the front lines with COVID. And he's still- Wow, thank he's you, still Jeremy. He's time for us every week and always is so generous. So thank you, Jeremy. That's thank very you, Jeremy. Jeremy. Bless you, bless you. Please stay safe. We're sending so much love and we thank you so, so grateful. much. So grateful. So grateful. So grateful. Um, is there anything else you guys want to add before we sign off tonight? This was a hoot and a holler. Hoot yeah. and a holler. 
Isn't it nice? It's just kind of gathering. Yeah. Um, I had to look up a text just to make sure. Jeremy Heinrich, he wanted to make me sure that I, he was keeping me honest. I've talked about him working in ER the last few weeks because he always joins us. He's always been the first person to buy tickets to anything I do, and he's so supportive and sweet. Um, and he wanted to make sure that I knew he was a physician assistant and works in oncology, not the ER, but still working oh. on the front lines each and every day. He just wanted to make sure that I was... Um, I was telling the truth and shaming the devil. So thank Aww. you, Jeremy. Well, we you love you. Do that. Thank you so much, Jeremy. Um, thank you guys so much. It's been so amazing to have you, Brennan. Yeah. And thank you Michael. guys. Honestly, again, thank you for doing this and thank you for thinking of, of us and for allowing us to, to share this moment and everyone out there, be nice to yourself. Take it day by day. It's, you know, just clock how you feel every day and just let that inform what you need to do. Beautiful. Absolutely. Beautiful. Thank you, Brennan. Thank you, Michael. Pick up Michael's Hello, album on it. My, my album's name is A Man Born Black you can by see Michael it. Kilgore. M Y K A L Kilgore. Yes. You can find me anywhere at Michael Kilgore. Stream it on awesome. every single platform. Stream her. There it is. There it yeah. is. All right. <laughs> you guys, it's been such an honor to have you both. You're just Thank both you. wonderful talents and Brennan, you know, when we met and I was like, I'm going to make her my friend. I want to hang out with her. I know. And, and I felt the same way. way. Mm. Well, oh, we'll have to hang out once this, once this is all over. Yes. I can't wait. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Right, yes. Thank yes. you Cocktail. so much for being here. Cocktails. Can't wait. Mwah. I'm looking forward to cocktails. Mwah. Thank you, guys. Mwah. Love you. Good night. Bye, everybody. Good night. Bye. Good uh, Rachel, it's been a fun night. I have one more surprise for you. Um, oh. I sort of mentioned this to you, but you know how I'm always asking you to learn new songs and I'm always making yeah. requests and mm -hmm. I have made it official. I made a request bowl all my own. So okay. each week I'm going to draw one of the songs out of my request bowl that you must learn for the next week's show. And I oh. have put uh, some of my favorite songs that you've never sung into my bowl. And my first drawing this week, mm -hmm. What's Up by the Four Non Blondes. Oh, okay, yes, I like this idea. Yeah, and you just, well, it's, it's forcing us to I learn some new material and do some new stuff. How's that? Yes, I like that. Can I just pick a song um, for you yeah. to learn? You bet you can. I want you to sing something from Hair. Okay. Um, I need to think of what Gavin Creel guys in the in the comments. Give me one of Gavin Creel's great songs in Hair. Okay, somebody help me out. Hi, Scott Nevins. What's up, dude? Scott Nevins. Hi, buddy. Uh, um, well, Rachel, um, Rachel and I tuned into Scott's show last night. He's doing every Tuesday. Yeah. He's doing a, an ode to his show at Splash Bar, um, Musical Mondays. He's doing Broadway Clip Tuesdays every Tuesday on Twitch, another uh, platform that you can find if you follow Scott Nevins on Insta, if you follow him. If if you're pro if you're on this thread, you probably know Scott Nevins, but find him and uh, go see him on Tuesdays with us because he's just showing classic Broadway footage every Tuesday on Twitch. Yes, it, it was so fun, Scott. Really wonderful job. Um, I think I think the song I want you to learn is "Let the Sunshine In," and oh, it's I like the end song. of Act One when they're standing there and it's like snowing and they're all standing there like hands held. I think I'm not sure. I, I don't know. We'll, I'll we'll do it. Okay, and also we had a few uh, submissions. So if any of you, we would like to bring an unknown wonder onto the show next week. So we've had a couple of submissions. I think we're gonna pick two people to come on and sing a song each. So if you're interested in being on um, Quarantine Cabaret, and we, we'd love to share some people that we don't know already. So send us an email and you can do that by sending us an email to Quarantine Cabaret at qu Quarantine Cabaret NYC at Gmail. Um, with a little clip of you singing, it can be something in the past. It can, it for can us be now, an audio, it can be a video, it can be anything. It does not have to be professional footage. It can be in your living room. Just anything that shows us a little bit about what you do, because uh, we were both very young, very hungry artists wanting a platform at one yep. time, and uh, we still are. <laughs> but we'd we love are. to feature you on this this show. So send us your clips of you singing and uh, do what we're doing of just giving us something to look forward each to each week and uh, keeping musical and keeping creative. Absolutely. This has been so helpful for me just to have a reason to put makeup on and um, wear a dress that I rented from Rent the Runway. 
So and it's giving me a place to wear all of the glitter that's just hiding in the back of my closet. I know. Praise the Lord for that. You know, Rachel, who are our special guests next week? Um, tonight next we had Michael week, Kilgore and um, that beautiful Brennan and Lark. Brennan Lark. That, that was so fun. I'm so happy that they agreed to do it. Um, next week we have Carrie St. Louis. Ooh, I love Carrie St. Louis. I do. She's so, so wonderful. Um, she was a Glinda and then one of my dear, dear friends, Laurel Harris. Ooh, Laurel from, um, from the Atlantis musical. Yep. Laurel is in Jagged, Little Pill right now. Um, and Laurel was also in Evita with me. And then we were also in Wicked together. So we have a long, long history. And then her husband, Rob Marnell, who is in, uh, Tina on Broadway. Currently. So we're going to have a fun week next week. We have three guests uh, because we get two for the price of one since Laurel and her husband are quarantined together. I'm hoping Laurel will sing a country song. When she came and did the Diva show years ago, she did Cowboy Sweetheart. It made me so happy. Oh. Yeah, she can yodel, I think. She's right? so good. She's so oh, good. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put in a request for that. That's a good, that's a good plan. Um, Marty, you know, I felt like it would be appropriate for me to show you that now, since I have the words in front of me on my screen, I know the lyrics, but it's all coming back to me now. No, I don't believe it for a second, uh, but I do love hearing you sing, and yes. uh, oh, I think there's no better way. Thank you, Ken, for your generous donation, you sweet, sweet man. Oh, thank you. Um, I'm just so grateful. You guys have had a great night. I'm so excited to be able to share these, these tips with our artists that we had on tonight. It's so kind of all of you. Um, and without further ado, Marty, I guess I will sing us, uh, it's all coming back to me now. And Beautiful. this time, no beer bottles. How about that? Thank you, Marty. You're the best co-host I could ever ask for. I agree. I love you. Okay. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Here's it's all coming back to me now. Thanks everybody for tuning in. This will be our last song tonight. Here we go. Oh no, wait a minute. Technical difficulties. Marty, still. <laughs> she um <laughs> she promised me she knew the words to this song multiple times. And I would introduce her to the stage and the song would begin and she would sing, there were mm -mm, not yet. Mm -mm. <laughs> well there were not mm -mm, no, mm -mm. not quite yet. No, no. longer intro. There were not <laughs> So mm -hmm. I'm not a hundred percent sure she knows the lyrics to this song, but I'm like sure High School either. Musical says, we're all in this together. So ladies and gentlemen, yeah, I'm Rachel, the show with that next week. Rachel Potter. Thank you. Okay. Can you hear it? Let's yep. All right. There were nights when the wind was so cold. And my body frozen, baby, I just lived. There were days when the sun was so cold And all the tears turned to dust And I just knew that I was dying I feel the scrum in the ass and touch the bed And I can't remember where I went or how
She didn't know that song. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't listen to that karaoke track. Oh my gosh, that's funny. Did oh you just God. try to blame that on the karaoke track? I did, that's not the original arrangement, number one. I tried to listen, I didn't listen to it before. <laughs> <laughs> This is not the first time this conversation has happened. <laughs> it is oh my is. God. It is what I'm it so is. Upset. Like, I wish so Jamie upset. Ray were here so much. Uh, maybe he'll watch it oh. tomorrow on YouTube. And if oh. all of you out there Jamie would like. Aaron says it's not your fault at all because it's the wrong arrangement of the karaoke track. It's, it's your fault. One. The only thing, the only factor oh. here is you because the karaoke track is constant. That's not constant. I want you to I want you to compare the lyrics on Google to that Please karaoke don't track. Buy. Please don't buy <laughs> <laughs> Um, if you didn't get to tune in tonight or if your friends didn't, let them know that they can watch it on YouTube tomorrow and come back and see us next week. We're gonna have new guests. Mm -hmm. We're here every week at seven o'clock on Wednesday nights for quarantine cabaret. Thank I'll you to Michael Kilgore. Thank you to uh, the beautiful Brennan Lark. Thank you to my beautiful co-hostess, uh, Rachel Potter. This has been a really fun night. Thank you to all of you that uh, that tipped us on Venmo you, and joined us with your beautiful energy. We appreciate you. Love, love, love. Thanks, everybody. Good night, people. Good night, all. We love you. I promise I'll know a song next week, okay? <laughs> Maybe I'll have a redemptive. It's coming back to me now. Who knows? Yay. Who knows? Love y'all. Good night.